Kill him with the sword! He that what? Kill him with the sword! Why is all these wars going on? He that kill him with the sword! He must be killed with the sword! He that kill him with the sword! With the Why are all no. these nations turning their back on America? No. He that killeth with the sword uh -huh. must be killed Wait a minute. with the sword. Why are these no. 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 Must be killed with, with the, the sword. sword. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rokhakudash. The bonus to the elder apostles, great millstone, and salutation and much love to Yaakim out there pushing out his word and truth and sincerity. And uh, I just want to do a quick video on the, pretty much the word prison. Anyway, fuck it. All right, because um, you got these devils, all right, these so-called white people, Edomites, according to the Bible, that have claimed that they didn't do it. You know, they didn't put us in slavery. All right, they didn't uh, commit the atrocities of their forefathers, but somebody's got to pay. All right, you can't just run up this tab and expect to go scot free. All right, there's no such thing as a free meal, as they say. <laughs> all right, so guess what? All this that you've been eating, all right, you've been eating good, living good, living lavishly. All right, as a, as a whole, as a nation, all right, you've been living good, and now that you're coming down. And, and your kingdom has fallen, and you're getting your, and your, your the curses are beginning to fall upon you. All right, now you want to sympathize with us and and moan and complain like a bitch. All right, but it's too it's too late for that. All right, the Lord strictly said what's gonna happen. Okay, and you know, uh, let me uh first, let me uh get this word here first prison. All right, you got the word prison, all right, which you have thousands of prisons here in the United States. All right, and according to the 13th Amendment, if you are in prison, then you're subject to slavery. All right, you can you can work for free. And that's what the incarceration system is all about. All right, but let's see what prison actually means. The word prison actually goes back to captivity. All right. As you see right there on the screen, the word actually goes back to captivity, captive, or taken. All right? So, captivity. So, who was the number one people in the, in the incarceration system? According to this website, prison policy, prisonpolicy.org. All right? And this is, you know, they, they try to um, dilute information, of course. So... You know, I'm pretty sure the number is a lot higher. But nonetheless, this was a, a census in t of 28, uh, 2010. And it says that the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the so-called uh, minority, all right, which are the, the Israelites, according to the Bible, the true Hebrew Israelites. It says here that they make up 60%. If you add them together, there's 60% of the population in the correctional facilities 60 percent so more than half all right of the people that are in jail right now are so-called negroes latinos and native americans and we just looked up the word prison here it means captivity captive okay and if you uh you know what let's get that 13th 13th amendment all right, Thirteenth Amendment, seventeen eighty nine. Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as punishment for a crime, for a crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. All right, so there's no slavery except as a punishment for the crime. Now, where do you go if you do a crime? You go to prison. You go to captivity, you become a cra a captive, all right? And who makes up the majority of the population? So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans make up the most of the population in the in the jails. All right. So now that we've established the word prison actually means captivity, let's read what the Bible says, because this is nothing new, all right? 
the so-called white man brought us into captivity all those 500 years ago, beginning in 1492. And to this day, he just changed the words up and we continue to be in captivity. So let's read this. Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Now who is leading the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans into the prison system? Or captivity, as we have just discovered. It is the so-called white man. The one that runs this country. The one that has established this incarceration system. He is the one leading the Israelites into captivity. As he has done before, so shall he do again. Okay? And to this day, we are still taken, seized, held captive in the, in the land where we were oppressed 500 years ago. Alright? They took us, they put us in cages beginning in the early 1500s, and they continue to do the same thing today. Nothing has changed. The so-called white man, the Edomites... Didn't like you then, and he sure as hell don't like you now. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's why the Bible tells you never to trust your enemy. But let's read this again, Revelation 13 and 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So the Bible says that whoever leads someone into captivity, they must go into captivity. That is what the Bible says. And that is what will happen when the Lord re returns. Okay? He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So if you kill someone with the sword, you must be killed with the sword. So, now let's, let's, uh, let's take this into context. Beginning in 1492, when so-called uh, the, 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 the pioneers are... The conquistadors came to this side of the world. What did they do? They raped, robbed, and murdered their way onto this land. They stole the land and took our people captives. And how can we prove that? Simple. Look into history. Now, let's go to this book called A People's History of the United States, 1492 Present. Written by Howard Zinn. Now, in this book... It goes in to tell you how Columbus came over here and committed all these atrocities and was not ashamed of it. Okay. Now let's go to a couple of examples, okay, of how we can prove that slavery began all the way back then. Here on the highlighted point it says, Fort Navidad had been killed in battle with the Indians are the indigenous people of the islands after they had roamed after they had roamed the island in gangs looking for gold okay after they roamed the island in gangs looking for gold so these devils so-called white man came here looking for gold now let's read this it says taking women Children as slaves for sex and labor. So not only did they enslave the men, they also enslaved the women, the children, for sex slaves. Let's leave this here. His second expedition was given 17 ships. Well, let's start from the top. It says, because of Columbus' exaggerated report and promises, his second expedition was given 17 ships and more than 1,200 men. The aim was clear, slaves and gold. Who was he enslaving? The so-called Latinos. The indigenous people of the islands. Now let's jump into the next paragraph. It says, Columbus, lit Columbus later wrote, Let us in the name of the Holy Trinity go on sending all the slaves that can be sold. Alright. So actually the Latinos were in slavery. Okay, beginning in the 1500s. Or actually 1495 as it says here. In the year 1945, okay. Sorry. Okay, in the year 1495, 
they went on a great slave raid, rounded up 1,500 Arawak men, women, and children, put them in pens guarded by Spaniards. That sounds like prison to me. Guarded by Spaniards and dogs. Have you ever been to a jail cell? Or have you ever been to an incarceration camp? <laughs> okay. You will notice there are bars as if to make it as a pen. And there are guards. And the police do use dogs nowadays, do they not? So slavery or captivity began long ago. 1495, if not earlier. Now, somebody has to pay for this. Revelation 13 to 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. There is no getting around this. Now, let's go to uh, Exodus 21 and 17, I believe. Uh, nope, 16. And he that stilleth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. Now, who... Stole men, women, and children to sell them. Well, it says here, Columbus later wrote, Let us in the name of the Holy Trinity go... Because that's where they came with that, 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 Christ, that plantation Christianity doctrine, okay? That, 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 that sweet Jesus, that white devil, alright, doctrine that they teach today in the churches. The Holy Trinity. There is nothing in the Bible that talks says Holy Trinity. Those words, Trinity, Holy Trinity will not be found in the Bible. But now, who sold these slaves? Christopher Columbus himself, which was a so-called white man. So, he stole men, he sold men. And to this day, we are in the hands of those same people. Alright, the, the, the Caucasian races, they like to call themselves, which are Edomites. They're in the Hebrew, Adawam, meaning red. Edom, they're red. Alright, they're not white people, they're red people. They put that word on us because they're trying to escape. They Because they, they call the Native Americans red. The redskins. No, you, you are the red people. And you're the devil that the Bible speaks of. And you're going into captivity. You're going into slavery for the atrocities of your forefathers. And because the Lord said it. All right. And you're going to be put to death as the scripture just said. All right. So you can say, oh, we didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't benefit. You're a damn liar. All right. And they don't care how you feel. The Lord doesn't care how you feel or what you think. You're going into slavery because to this day you continue to put us in the prison system. Okay, you continue to put us in the prison system over 60%. Okay, and prison means captivity. We read in Revelation 13 to 9, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Yeah, you have a couple of token coon niggas that are a part of the police academy. But who runs the police? Well, first of all, the police all right, begin with, began during the time of slavery. And they were called the slave patrol. And it's no different from today. The police patrol the slaves of America. And now you morons have become slaves yourselves. Thanks to the Emancipation Proclamation. Okay, so you 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 everyday Edomites, all right, you you two time losers, okay, have become slaves under your own people. You can thank your elites for that one. Don't blame us. But you're gonna be a slave again, and it's gonna be a hardcore slavery this time. All right, you're going to go through what we went through, but two times, twofold, horrible fold, okay? Isaiah 14 and 21, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. What are the, some of the iniquities of your fathers? You raped, robbed, and murdered us. Read this book by Howard Zinn, A People's History of the United States. It goes into the atrocities that you so-called white people, you devils, according to the Bible, did to the nation of Israel. So you must pay for that, and you will pay for it. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. 
that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. So you will not be in power anymore when the Lord, the one you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, returns, which his real name is Yahweh Shai, and his father's name is Yahweh. You will not be in power, nor will you have cities. You will not have no no uh, uh, um, Washington, D.C., London, all right, Moscow. You will not have nothing in your name you will have no possessions except for the clothes on your back and those will be lent unto you as well you will be slaves as we were for a thousand long dreadful years for the iniquity of your fathers and for the iniquity that you continue to do to this day and we're still in your hands you refuse to let us go the Lord will redeem us set us free and put you under our feet Mawat la babal, shalawam.